what, what the haters talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? When Donald Trump, your president, held a listening session for survivors of gun violence, members of their family, and parents of murdered students on Wednesday, much of the discussion focused on enhanced school security. Donald Trump suggested that we arm teachers. One parent suggested that we use undercover police officers to pose as teachers and school staff. The most popular suggestion coming from the right, especially members uh, who work at Fox, people who are media personalities at Fox, they suggest that we arm the school with more cops. Here's the problem with that. In many of the black schools, you already got cops. Most of the black schools, the schools that are predominantly black, you got cops there already. And there's already a problem with police officers stretching their authority. You see what this is going to do is it is going to embolden cops more, more presence on the school grounds with cops mean more black kids being funneled through the criminal justice system. Because you see, they have a short patience when it comes to black kids. That's why when you watch these videos of policemen handling children, it's almost exclusively they're handling black kids. So black kids are going to be racially profiled by these policemen like they're already being done anyway. More. You see, I know people are saying, well, you know, we got to do something. Yeah, we got to do something. But man, you got people that, that work, that's supposed to, supposed to do this for a living, figure out shit, like ways to keep the schools safe. I can tell you, I can come up with some better ways. I can't tell you right at this moment, but give me some time and I can think of something better than that. I can tell you for starters, you can... Teach your kid not to be a damn bully at home because everything starts at home. Man, America really does think that it can police and punish its way into safety. You can't. America has a moral problem. It is not guns. The average kid that's running up in the schools shooting up the schools is not black, they're white males. So you can't blame it on mental illness because if it was mental illness, the shooters would be of, have more of a diverse background. You have all ethnicities pretty much involved in this type of action. Black kids only represent 16% of the population at the schools. Yet, when it comes to arrest at schools, that number is spiked to 31%. Why is that? You mean to tell me that the black kids are more disruptive than anybody else? That's a damn lie. You can't, you can't sell that ticket to me. I know better. I've been in the schools and I work at the schools. I go to the schools to this day. You can't tell me that. All of these kids, man, my kid went to a private school. I don't mean to really want to put them on blast, man. But some of those kids, and they're rich. And some of them, and rich, white kids, bad attitudes, and some of them, even at the private schools, had a history of being racist, making racial comments, targeting people. They didn't necessarily target the blacks, but they were targeting Middle Easterners. 
You see? But when they put more cops into the schools, it's going to affect the black kids more than anybody. Because they try to, back in the day, and I'm only using this as a reference point, as a more, more of a value, a values reference point than anything. Because when you say back in the day, people, ah, oh, man, we, we ain't back in the days, we right, we're going forward. But societies are supposed to go forward, evolve positively, not negatively. So maybe we can look at what worked in the past because we, 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 we have a society of degenerates now. So maybe we can look back and say, well, why is it that kids have been going to school all of these hundreds of years and you didn't have mass murders. You didn't have mass murdering going on at schools. Why is that? Why is it happening, happening now? So you have to look at all of the components, not just the little one piece of the, or that piece that get you riled up. See, that's a knee jerk reaction. Oh, just get a teacher's guns. First of all, you're gonna give a teacher a gun you had a damn cop who had a gun who was trained in the use of firearms and how to react in certain situations, and his ass froze up. He stood outside and he, while the dude shot up to school for four whole minutes. But you want the teacher who's, who came there to teach? You want the teacher to teach, counsel, be a friend, monitor, and have a shootout. Where they do that at? Absolute horrible idea, man. Putting more cops into the schools is only going to put more bullies in the school. Cops are bullies. Bottom line, many of those cops especially who were every now and then you get a good cop, and when you get a good one, He's loved to death. Everybody knows who he is, but that's very rare. Most of the cops who work at these schools are bullies. They are bullies. And all you're going to do is have more cops taking advantage of their position and stretching their authority. I was about to say back in the day, if a teacher had a problem with a student, the teacher would get the student to calm down or walk out of the room or go to the principal, send them to the principal's office. And he didn't even need an escort. Go to the principal's office. Because once I send you to the principal's office, then you can't come back here unless you have some type of note that, that shows that you've been cleared to come back here from the principal's office, <laughs> you know? So they're asking the cops now to basically be disciplinary personnel. Cops are supposed to be there for when a student breaks the law or someone outside of this classroom or the schoolyard breaks the law. Maybe some trespassing or something is going on. But cops are there to enforce the law. Arguing with your teacher is not against the law. You know, being a being an asshole is not against the law. Now, some of these students are guilty of that. Some of them are, are guilty of trying to showboat and be class clowns and all of that stuff, but that don't warrant police intervention. And that's exactly what's happening already. And all we're going to have is more of that. And that's what Trump is trying to get out of this. He's trying to get more control over the children through force. It's not about the kids uh, living in harmony and trying to do the right thing for the kids or by the kids. It's not about that. That's all part of his control, his totalitarian uh, outlook. That's what he wants. That's all it's about. Putting more cops into the school ain't gonna help any more than putting more cops 
out on the streets. It's not going to make the schools any safer, just like it don't make the streets any safer. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?